Hey everyone, I'm Jeff Bacalar for CNET.com. This is a first look at the Xbox 360E. So here it is, the Xbox 360E, which Microsoft announced at E3 2013. First things first, this is exactly the same as the Xbox 360S. There's literally no difference in terms of the functionality. When you turn on this, it's gonna look just like the old one. It is exactly the same. It's not quicker, it's not slower, it's exactly the same. You're not gonna notice any difference. There's a few things aesthetically on the boxes that you will notice are different. We're talking like millimeters in difference. The E is maybe designed a little bit to resemble what the Xbox One is gonna look like aesthetically. Other than that, you're not gonna find any difference. They've taken out a USB on this one, so you get four ports instead of five compared to this guy. On the bottom, there's a little port for the, uh, for the hard drive that you can access fairly easily. You pop this in and out, no problem, just like this guy over here, and you're all set and done. Microsoft says the Xbox 360E runs quieter and cooler. Yes, it definitely is a little quieter, Cooler, I couldn't really tell when I had these two running side by side, but it's nowhere near the dramatic jump you got from the original white 360 down to this slim 360S. So on the Xbox 360E, which is the brand new version, it's actually taking out an optical audio output. Now, if you're like me and you have an older receiver that only uses audio through a separate source outside of HDMI, you're kinda out of luck because there's no way to get separate audio out of this system for surround sound, which is kind of a bummer. So what you're gonna to need to do is, you're gonna to need to either have a receiver that uses audio over HDMI, which most current ones do, or you're gonna use this new interface that they've put on the back, which is a breakout eighth inch AV cable. It's 2013. To this day, you can still not play Xbox in HD out of the box. It's been eight years and this is, this is what we're dealing with still. Go get yourself an HDMI cable for $5, it's fine. So another thing people wanna know about the new one, if it has an IR port in the front so you can hook it up to like your universal remote control, yes, it has that, don't worry. Also on the front you'll notice, compared to the S, uh, there's physical buttons. This was all touch on the S. These are actual physical buttons that you have to push. Not a big deal. I just spit on it a little bit. That's gross. Let's say you have an Xbox 360S and you're like, oh, well, there's a new Xbox out. Should I buy it? I don't know why anyone would want to buy this because there's literally no difference. In fact, you get less for the same amount of money. And plus, I've been on like Amazon and you have these deals right now where you can get this bundled with Arkham City with Darksiders 2, and it's the same price as this brand new one that's arguably an inferior box. It turns out this is a lot cheaper to make than the 360S. So that's what's happening. You're getting a console for the same price as what you paid last time, but it costs Microsoft a little less to make it. So that's what's going on here. I guess eventually the S will go away and we'll only be left with the E. But uh, for the time being, if you're looking for an Xbox 360 for your first time, you've never had one before, get this one. The S is the way to go. The E, not so sure who it's for. It's not for you, it's not for me. It's really just here to, I don't know, make more money for Microsoft. So that's what I gotta say about that. That's gonna do it for me. I'm Jeff Bacalar, checking out the Xbox 360E for CNET.com. Thank you for watching.